Congratulations, Excel user. You've had problems with VLOOKUP. Welcome to the club. The first thing we're going to do is talk about index match and how great that is. After we do that, we're going to show how it's flexible and we'll show the problems with VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP has some very specific little hinks in it, but after we get through that, we're going to go through each of these functions, the components of it, and then we're going to go through how to use some simple examples for index match. Then we'll learn how to use index match and match to make the lookup truly flexible. So the first one here, we get this data sent to us. We have to find, uh, pull some data. So right now we're going to use a VLOOKUP to look up what Chuck's salary is. Equals VLOOKUP. I want to find this value. I want to find this table array. We know that it's not the first column. That's the name. It's the second. Two. And we want to find the exact match. So we'll use zero or false. There's that. And the next one we'll do is look for the department. Here's one of the first problems. We're going to find Chuck and we want to find, say this one, we need to find his department. He is in finance, comma. It's the first column in there. So we'll use that. And we want that uh, false for the exact match, zero, close that. It doesn't work. And that's because VLOOKUP only looks to the right. It will not look to the left. So we can't use it for this. We'd have to manipulate data and change a bunch of things. Index match solves that. It also solves this other problem. Let's say this data changes format. There's a new column here and it breaks. The formula looks up the exact same thing we were looking. So we're still finding Chuck. We've got that and looking for the second column. But unfortunately that's blank. So we could go in here and we could edit this and we have it again. However, that's time consuming and a pain. We're not going to deal with that. Index match will solve it. The first thing we're going to do is look through the index function. So we'll go through all of these here. The first one, index. All we're doing is finding a treasure map. Let's say X marks the spot and that spot happens to be Amy. Actually, you know what? Let's do Mark. We've got him right here. So what's the whole scope of everything? Where's the data we want to show? It's in this box. Great. And how many, um, how many rows down do we have to go to get to mark? Here's the first one, second one, third one. So we need to go three. Then how many columns over do we have to do? This is the first column, second column, first, second, third, and so on. So we will do two and we will close that mark. Great. Now, if we wanted to do uh, match the match. So again, the index function, just to go back to that, we're looking at a treasure map. It's telling us how many steps to go down, up. So just like a slope in math, rise over run. How many do you go up and down? How many do you go right and left? So here we're going to go with match. And what match does is it finds a specific value right here. And it can only do a one way lookup. So match will show you either an entire row, what number uh, the row it is uh, right here, or the column you can go vertically or horizontally. When we combine the three, we get all of them. So right here, match, we're going to go for the column. So we want to see how far over Mark is. So we find the one with his name and we want to find the exact match, close it up and we should get a two. We have a two because he is in the second column, just like with index, we had that second column right here. Now we'll look at the row equals match. So we're going to do the lookup value of Mark again, the lookup array is going to be here. So how far down, how many rows down do we have to go? One, two, and three. So this, when we look for the exact match with the zero, we'll show a three. And there it is. So right now we'll do a simple example of index match. So we're going to pick an employee. We have a list here. And the great thing about this function is you can just change inputs and it'll automatically adjust everything like VLOOKUP, except it's faster, uses less space. So your spreadsheets don't slow down as much. And on top of that, uh, you can change, add columns, remove columns, and it will not break. It's fantastic. We're going to go to index. So where do we want to find it? What's the map? That treasure map is right here. We want to display that department. Then we go match. And what's the value we want to find? This one. And because we have that one directional lookup, all we do is select here, close that. And then we want an exact match close that and close the other parentheses. She's in accounting. So when we change this, we can see that it goes mark. Yep. Manufacturing bill operations. 
Nikki, customer service, and so on. So back to Amy, we'll look for salary. We'll do the same thing. Index, we want to find her salary. Match, and where is that? She's right here. The item we want is right there. And then the array is right here. We need an exact match. Close that and close that. And there's that. Years experience, we'll do the same. So here's another example, index. So we're going to look for this. That's what we're gonna show, the treasure map. And we wanna match. It helps if you spell it right. Match, lookup value, close that. Lookup array, right there. Exact match again, close parentheses, close parentheses, voila. The last one, index. We're going to find the annual increase, match. We will find her name, and we will also go to the array right here. Exact match, close it, close it, and there it is. We can change these formattings, anything like that. You can add um, you know, extra digits, things along those lines. But the beautiful thing about this formula, you change it, everything updates. It's automatic, no issues. Now. With VLOOKUP, we saw that when we added a column, it broke everything. Here, no such issue. So that data can come back to you any different way. People can change it, people can move it, and it won't be a problem. So it's a fantastic function for that. So let's say we want to find department. We need to look up by multiple things. We need someone in accounting, and we need to find their salary. Now we get to the master example here, index, match, match. We want to do a two-way lookup. We don't need to use VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP because they both break. So we do this, index. We know we're going to look up salary and the department. And these are going to be changeable with dropdowns. So we pick everything else, all this data, because we're going to have our rows. We're going to have our well, rows, columns. So we pick that data. There's our treasure map. It's going to be somewhere in there. Match. So what are we looking up first? We're going to look up the row, so that's going to be the department here. We need that exact one. Then the array, where will we find it? Right here. We want an exact, so we hit zero, close that, and now we need to do the column. So we have to find this category. Same thing, comma, match. Then the lookup value will be right here, salary. After we do that, we're gonna go right here and comma again, we want the exact match, zero. Then you're gonna close those, close those, hit enter. There we go. So our accounting person has a salary of 70,000. So maybe we need, from accounting, we wanna find customer service. That salary is 65, which we see that matches up. But maybe instead of salary, I want that name. It's Nikki. And we want years experience, five or we wanna see the annual increase. We can do this and you'll change your formatting. Sometimes you have to play with that, but there it is. And we can change this as well. Customer service, finance, annual increase, salary, and there it is. You get the most flexible lookup in Excel. It's one of the most powerful ones. I love it, I use it daily, but it will take a little practice. So I'd suggest you set something up like this, run some examples, you'll be golden. Have a good one, see you next time.